Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Okay, so welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we've cut out the uh, actual pieces we designed in the prior one. Now, in this case, I used some craft foam that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I really have never used this before. And at the end here, this one, I think the laser got a little weak because it's at the furthest point. Now, what, one of the pieces is that I will mention uh, that when you're doing this, um, and I talked about it a little bit in the last video, is the placement of the material. Uh, again, this is, this is probably an exercise in the maximum bed usage of the um, laser because as you can see here, I've got the extended bed and this really does push it because even though if you watched my previous videos where I've tuned this up quite a bit it's still not perfect way down here at the end it's still very very good and better than it was before but I mean this thing just simply was not designed to print for such a big area so when, when I do hit the end there I do I do get some um, loss of intensity down here it, it, it definitely works better going this way, so sometimes I do have to clean it up like this. Now, I did use a low power to cut these out. Uh, however, and they are a little bit different uh, size than the uh, original because I rescaled them. Again, I just wanted to kind of see what this would do uh, with the foam. And because uh, I'm thinking actually about creating some of these for the grandkids. Um, because I think it could be kind of fun to play with. Um, it's kind of hard doing it mid-air here, but uh, it's a little bit like a puzzle to put together. That's what I'm thinking about for the grandkids. That one I don't think goes there. Uh, where or where do the pieces go? I took the pieces out of sequence. All right, so that goes like that. Well, I think you kind of get the idea. It takes a little bit. If you do it on a flat surface, there's a little bit of a art and science to putting these boxes together. Uh, well, anyways, I think you get the idea. He's got to find which pieces go to which and then assemble them. Okay, I just wanted to show it could be done. So, uh, sitting it on a flat surface definitely made it far easier to assemble than uh, on, on trying to do it on that printer bed. Also, one of the things that makes it a little bit more difficult with the foam is the fact that, that it is a little bit flexible and so trying to get the corners to stick together is, is a little bit more difficult. But it does form uh, a cube, and, and again, it's, uh, you can pick it up, and it's somewhat stable. I'm going to kind of glue it together, but again, I'm thinking about putting together some of these, uh, cutting out a group of them, different colors. Uh, what I'll do is, I'll, the, the, the pack actually comes, and you can get this from Hobby Lobby in a bunch of different colors, actually. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to print out a bunch using this template of the different colors, and then... Uh, on Christmas Eve or whatever, you know, for the kids to play with in that. Um, make ornaments maybe, because you can glue stuff on here and decorate them. You can cut out different things on the laser with it, um, uh, you know, to, to make ornaments. And again, you know, again, because this is lightweight, you could attach a, a string or a hook to the corner of this and make a very interesting ornament. You can engrave it with the laser. 
So a lot of possibilities you can do with the laser, and this just looks like a lot of fun for the grandkids. So I'm going to print out a bunch of copies. I think one of the things I might do, though, is increase the tab size a little bit um, so that it's a little bit easier for them to put together. But I think this would be a good, great Christmas Eve sort of project game for them. So uh, anyways, if this was uh, interesting, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this coming. Also, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the uh, footage of me cut. I, I think I'll put the footage of uh, this being cut out after it. So please stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.